Hello, you guys. We are oh, about knocked over my knife tray. We are starting off the vlog on a different note. It is Tuesday, which is different one because I never start a vlog on Tuesday. You guys know if you watch my channel that I like literally only vlog Wednesday to Friday because I'm not I'm not loving my life on Mondays and Tuesdays. But anyway, this week is different because we have a hurricane coming our way. Hurricane Adalia is not really going to hit Tampa directly, but we are going to feel some effects of it. So um, I got off of work at like one. It was supposed to be noon, but I didn't finish my charting until one. And then we are closed all day tomorrow. So, you know, in the south and in Florida, we have hurricane days instead of snow days, which in my opinion is better <laughs> because I don't like the snow. Yeah. Anyway, sorry. So, you know, we don't get snow days in Florida, but we do get hurricane days. So... I'm so stupidly excited to have like this afternoon and tomorrow off. It's it's stupid, um, but yeah. So I went to the gym after lunch because nothing is really closing until, not nothing, but like stuff isn't really closing until five o'clock because the storm isn't rolling in until tonight. And I think tomorrow is gonna be the worst day, but we no, no patients are coming to the office on a day that you have a hurricane. Like I maybe saw eight patients this morning, so. Yeah, there was like no point in staying open, but I do have my computer, so if I need to do stuff, I can. Anyway, it is four o'clock right now. I just finished like picking up the outside area, and then Seth is gonna stake down some of our trees so that they don't blow too much. And yeah, we're hunkering down for a hurricane. We have plenty of supplies. We will be fine but i just kind of thought it would be fun to like start the vlog now and then we can go through a day off together and then get back into like the work swing on um thursday and bring you guys through friday so this is going to be a little bit longer week in my life than i usually do i usually only do like a few days so yeah I, it sounds bad to say i'm excited but i'm excited for this week so let's have a good week okay so it is what 4 30 and I'm sorry if you can hear Camper. We're just playing ball outside, so he is panting. But I'm going to just clean up around the house because it's a mess. Um, and then I kind of, so, okay, hold on, let me put you down for a second. So there are two things that have been on my to-do list for a long time. One of them is cleaning out my closet. Um, my closet just desperately needs a refresh. I need to get rid of a lot of clothes. I've lost some weight, so a lot of clothes are not fitting me anymore, and like I just don't need them. Um, so that has been on my mind that I need to do for a while. And the other thing is our office, which I showed you guys, not in my last video, but the video before. It's just kind of like our throwaway room. I feel like everybody has one, but I've been dying to get in there and just like clean it up. I guess dying is not a good phrase to say because I've had plenty of weekends where I could do it, but it to me like. This is why I need more weekend time. But Saturdays for me are all about rest. Like I'm not doing anything. And then Sundays to me are all about like resetting my house as in like making sure I get my laundry done, making sure like the dishes are done for the week, making sure I get in a good workout, like go grocery shopping, stuff like that. And it just doesn't feel like it leaves a lot of time for like organizing and stuff. So this is literally the perfect thing to do. Like today and tomorrow so i'm gonna see what i can get done this evening we still have some laundry I need to put away from the weekend and i just want to like clean up around the house but our cleaners are coming on friday so i'm not worrying about doing a deep clean so we're going to start with the dishes i desperately need to water this plant i'm actually going to do the dishes and then water this but this is all of our inside or outside stuff taken inside and then i need to take this out <laughs> um to the garage this rake but i've got this massive plan of ours inside because it flourishes outside and this is the outside hey camp what are you doing you playing ball <laughs> Next is to tackle this room. For dinner. 
dinner tonight, we are making this stuffed shell recipe from Pinterest. It is linked on my Pinterest account. I am literally ashamed to admit this. Um, I did put this plastic in the oven with the stuffed shells. And it did indeed melt, obviously, because it's plastic. I can't believe, like, why did I do that? I just wasn't thinking. Oh my God. I, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is the final product. After the whole plastic mishap, we figured it out. Our house does smell like burning plastic, though, but it's okay. you can hear camper in the background he wants to go outside and play um i slept until nine o'clock it was glorious um and then i literally just came out here and made my coffee we're gonna go sit outside it's really like it, i'll show you guys but like it's not bad at all we still have power which is great i don't think we're gonna end up using any of the water that i made so it's okay, it's better to be safe than sorry. Um, and instead of wasting the water, we'll probably just fill our water bottles from them for the next, I don't know, week, <laughs> week and a half. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm very thankful that nothing is really like going on for us and we're just getting the outer bands. I read something that's, I saw something on TikTok, okay? So like, take this with a grain of salt. I don't know if this is, good information or not but apparently one of the native american burial grounds is in tampa and so they blessed the area like a hundred years ago um which in 1921 is the last time that a major hurricane ever hit tampa bay like directly on like we get hurricanes or we get hurricane effects probably every year um but the ancient saying is that because they blessed this this area as a burial ground um that's why the storms always deviate north of us um, whenever they come because that has happened every single time that i've lived here they either deviate north or they deviate south like the one last year that killed fort myers um it was projected to hit us directly um which i'm very thankful for but obviously you know we never wanted to hit anybody because it's a it was like a category three or four i think last year um but yeah it's the start of hurricane season, so many more <laughs> hurricane fogs to come, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, let's enjoy our coffee outside. I'm gonna watch a YouTube video, ice roll my face, like you guys know the vibe. I don't know if you guys can tell, this is the current situation. This is really the most that we've gotten though. We're watching the Weather Channel. I'm just working on some emails. Okay, so it's been a couple of hours. You are now in my closet. Um, it has been on my to-do list. I think I might've mentioned that this morning. It has been on my to-do list to clean out my closet for several months now, honestly, and I have time to do it right now. So this morning, um, Seth and I took a long walk. We made breakfast, kind of like a brunch, honestly, because it was at, we ate at like noon. Um, I did a little bit of computer work as far as like content creating and answering emails, which is, typically something that I do in the evening so it was nice to do during the day and then I balanced our account so I try to do that every week is ideal um, but it typically happens like every couple of weeks just like moving money around into savings into our investment accounts all of that stuff um, so I finished that that usually takes me a little while and now I'm going to jump into organizing my closet cleaning it out getting rid of things I don't wear. And then I'm thinking, honestly, later I might do a little Starbucks run. There is literally nothing going on here. There's no marine or anything. So 
I think we're in the all clear. And then a little bit later today, I'm just gonna open my work computer and like look at some labs imaging, close out that stuff and close out some billing um, tabs that I have to do. But other than that, I really don't have that much work going on. So yeah, let's get started on this. I'm gonna watch a little bit of Vampire Diaries while I do it. I need to have something in the background. Okay, I am embarrassed at the way that I look, but it has been a long day. We ran to Starbucks um, because everything is like back open again. Like we're fine, everything's good. Um, but we ran to Starbucks, got a coffee at like 3.30, 4 o'clock, dropped off all of the stuff that I um, am gonna donate to Good, we already did donate to Goodwill. And then Seth went through his closet as well. So we donated like four bags, which was great. And then we ran, we got Chipotle to bring home, which you guys saw that. I cleaned up the kitchen. Seth put all of our stuff back outside. And it's only like, it's 640. So I do have to work tomorrow. Um, everything is like back to normal tomorrow. So I'm going to shower. And then I need to do some stuff for um, the wedding that I'm going to be in next month. In September, I'm going to California to be in one of my best friends from nursing school's wedding. Um, so we're planning like her bachelorette right now and I'm like helping with some of that stuff. So, um, and then I also need to get her like a little lingerie gift. I need to see like what outfits I'm gonna wear cause we're doing a lot of fun things. Um, so I'm gonna shower and then like sit down on the couch, get cozy with my computer and like get to plan in that. Good morning, you guys. Cheers to Thursday. It feels like so nice to be going back to work after having a day off in the middle of the week, you guys. It is, it's literally, it's life changing. I can't tell you the last time that I had a day off during the week in general, like that I was off on like a Tuesday or a Wednesday, you know. It's been, well, that I was at home. Like obviously like when I took my two vacations over the summer, I was off on like a random Tuesday or Wednesday. But I mean like at home, like able to get stuff done. It was so nice, like I cleaned out my whole closet. My office, I cleaned out my office on Tuesday afternoon when I was off. Um, we donated a bunch of clothes, like my whole house is clean. We're getting a new couch on Friday, which I'm so excited about. So I was able to like clean up underneath our current couch and we just have to move that out of the way tonight. Oh, you guys, it is life-changing. I don't know if I've said this on the vlog, but my boss is very seriously considering having us go to four 10-hour shifts because we've all been complaining so much about working Monday through Friday. Um, and, you know, obviously every good boss is looking for ways to decrease burnout and to keep their staff around. So um, they're thinking that for, like, two weeks we would, like, the MPs would rotate and be like Monday through Friday I mean Monday through Thursday for two weeks um, and then Tuesday through Friday for two weeks you know so that not everybody only gets Friday off and that everybody only gets Monday off but honestly I'm fine with either one like having a three-day weekend I really think would change my life um, and it would be so nice um, so anyway um, more updates on that to come hopefully it happens um, because there's so many things like weekend trips that I can't go on because I only have two days off and it's just not worth it for me to go. So anyway, I'm headed to work. I'm going to my other office today. So a little bit of a drive to get there, like 20, 25 minutes. And hopefully my, I mean, my schedule is probably going to be pretty booked because everybody, you know, did, we didn't have any patients yesterday. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of catching up to do. Patients are done. I had so many televisits. And if you know me, you know I hate televisits. <laughs> now we are at the gym. Getting ready to get in. I think my second leg workout of the week. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is the recipe for the olive oil sauce. It's I don't know the measurements, okay? I don't I don't measure stuff in general, but you can get a good amount of olive oil in there. And then I use Himalayan salt, but you can use whatever salt you prefer, and you're gonna give it quite a hefty amount. 
and then you are going to add your chopped up garlic. I chopped up uh, three or four cloves of garlic for that. And then you are gonna include a little bit of lemon. If you like more lemon, you can do more. I probably, this is a half a lemon. I think I'm gonna do half of that. Half of a half, so a fourth. And then, Stir it around. And you're just gonna let it sit actually for a while, like let the garlic marinate in the oil. And then once it's done marinating for probably like 20 minutes or so, you can pour it over the salad. It's really good. Oh, frick. I wanna see it on this side. 